Well, investigators say the suspect was released from jail just eight months ago, and he now faces a string of new charges. He is expected to make his first court appearance later this week. 52-year-old Daniel Evans was taken into police custody a week after a home invasion that left an elderly Kenosha County couple seriously injured. He faces more than a dozen felony charges, including first-degree attempted homicide, aggravated battery, and armed robbery. During a news conference today, the sheriff said Evans, who was released from prison in February, has a long criminal history. This gentleman in jail, from what I picked up this morning, he learned to fine tune his home invasions while he was in prison. Investigators say during the early morning hours of October 27th, Evans broke into this home confronting the 84 year old homeowner. They say Evans shot him and hit his 83 year old wife before taking two cell phones. I think this is one of those people that you need to. The justice system needs to make sure it never comes out again. The sheriff says it's the phones that help detectives track Evans down. They were dumped near the trailer park where Evans lived. Police had him under surveillance on Friday when they say he left the park in a car that was stolen back in September. He was accompanied by his girlfriend and members of her family. They tried to pull him over but ended up chasing him 10 miles before taking him into custody. At one point, Evans was tased. The other occupants, including a six-month-old, were released. Investigators say Evans admitted committing the crime because of his drug habit. A week and a half ago, I said I, I predicted that this person, whoever did this home invasion, did it because of some, some sort of drugs, and we hit it on the head. Investigators say the elderly couple's house was not a specific target. Rather, it was chosen by chance. They say the suspect was simply looking for a home where a door was unlocked.